Hello, hello, hello there, my crafty buds and fellow YouTubers and hello new subscribers. And I hope today you had a wonderful Easter and nobody turned you into an April Fool because today is April 1st. Guys, what we're doing today is we are going to turn, um, I'm going to go ahead and move you guys down high. I <laughs> hope you like my little jacket there. I'm going to move you guys down so that you can see a little bit better what we're doing today. Today, what I'm going to do is turn these simple pie plates to glass pie plates that I've got at the Dollar Tree. You guessed it. I also have a punch bowl that I got at the thrift store. Uh, this one here I paid $3 for. I also have a decorative bowl with gold trim on it. I just think that's really gorgeous right there. I have a medium hurricane base that actually has a little color to this. I thought that would go really good with the grape theme on this. I have a bigger hurricane lamp uh, base that I've acquired. Guys, I've got these at the secondhand thrift stores. I have a broken crystal goblet. Isn't that gorgeous, y'all, with the grapes on there and stuff? I just love this. It just broke my heart when it broke. And I thought, okay, I'm going to do something with this. And then I have a vase that's mosaic. And it's broken. And again, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. I've got to do something with this. So today, we're going to do something with this. And I have E6000 glue. Now, guys, I'm going to turn all of that into a beautiful bird feeder, okay? So let's begin. And let's see if I can get you guys to where you can see <laughs> actually what I'm doing down here. That's about as far down as I can get, y'all. And if you can't hear me, that's okay. You can watch what I'm doing anyway. And we're just going to put a little bit around the rim. Make sure it's clean and dry. Not a whole lot to where it's oozing and gobbing. But just enough to where it'll make contact. Put the first one on. Oops, 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 I forgot. I'm different than everyone else. That's why I have these. I want to put these, almost forgot, inside of this. So I can still see the beautiful iridescence of these through the bottom oops, of this. I like to put something inside of mine and if you start getting a little drip like I've got a little bit of a drip maybe hit that this is kind of concave shaped so it's wanting to come down a little bit but that's all right it'll dry all right now the next one that I'm gonna do is the big hurricane and all I'm gonna do to it guys is right around the rim here where it makes contact most of them have a little concavity to it here, so just go where it's going to make the contact. Make sure this is level. Okay. Okay. 
this is going to be so beautiful and guys you can mix and match and just use your imagination of what you have try to get that dead bang center y'all and then just give it a nice little push nothing serious try to make sure that bottom is level and then inside of this I'm gonna put the broken goblet again just a little glue around the rim and I love my E6000 guys this is wonderful for glass a lot of people use silicone um, and a um, a caulk gun, which you can do because this is going to be for outdoors. But I don't have silicone, so I'm using my E6000 that I really, really love. Alrighty, now then. See, we're getting pretty all ready, guys, and whenever I'm done, I'll give you a, a, a big view of this, because this is really going to be gorgeous. Now then, this one here, guys, just around the rim of this one, and you can flip these if you want, you know, you don't have to do it exactly the way I'm doing it. It's all a matter of what you have and what you like, as far as the design and the theme. You can do whatever you like. You can flip this upside down if you want to, but I'm gonna leave mine like this because it's gonna be like a triple bird feeder. So I can put bird seed in, in all three of these for the little birds to get down low and the big birds up top. Again, just a little push. All right, then my next one is gonna be this gorgeous tinted and again, right around the rim where it's going to make contact. And try to go dead bang center, y'all. As good as you can get it. And just a little push. Make sure when you're doing this outside, you're on as flat a level as you can be. So you can get this as even as you can get it. And then your last one, again, around the rim, where it's going to make contact with your next piece. And guys, this is a lot of fun. We can always find beautiful bases and stuff while we're out on our treasure hunting expeditions at the local thrift stores and stuff. And uh, these beautiful pieces of glassware, you might find like just one piece. Well, that's all you need to make you a beautiful work of art. And then again, dead bang center, as good as you can get it. Little push. Let these dry 24 hours, guys, overnight. Don't touch these. Let them set. And this is simply scrumptious, y'all. I absolutely love this. This is going to be a beautiful addition to our garden this year. And now I'm going to take you guys uh, off of here. I'm going to try not to shake you real bad. But I want to show you what I have done. Alrighty guys, again we've got the gorgeous punch bowl with them beautiful iridescence. Can you imagine that in the sunlight when the sun hits that? Then we've got the gorgeous crystal goblet inside of the hurricane lamp, which I haven't seen no one doing. Uh, why not put something inside some of these glasses y'all? I mean showcase little pieces uh, like this broken goblet. I love this. It's a crystal piece when the Sun hits this I'm gonna get a lot of colors off of this. I can't wait. It's I think it's gonna be just scrumptious and then we have uh, the beautiful uh, shaded colored base Right up to the top. Isn't that adorable you guys? I think that's gonna be a gorgeous gorgeous bird feeder, don't you? 
And guys, give this a try. I would really love to see some of your creations and what you find on your outings of beautiful glassware and what you turn them into for your yard or your porch or even inside your house. You can use these uh, for the gorgeous uh, battery operated candles would be gorgeous. You could throw some candy in the top of that right there, maybe some uh, light fruit, different things going down through that. The possibilities are endless. So guys, until our next beautiful glass creation, this is your friend Peggy at Stormy's Imagination Station. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new. We've got a lot coming up, and I don't want you to miss out on a single thing. And until next time, guys, I hope everything in your world is going absolutely scrumptious, and I'll see you when I'm looking at you. Bye-bye.